we're going to talk about some environmental problems that are common in a tomato patch, uh, including blossom end rot, some pollination problems, sun scald, and then fruit cracking and fruit russeting. Blossom end rot is a, a calcium deficiency that's actually caused by a, an uneven amount of water within the tomato plant. Calcium that's pulled up by the plants from the, the root system in the soil goes first to the leaves and then second to the fruits. And if the plant is growing very actively, uh, the, uh, most of the calcium will move to the leaves and the, the fruits will not have enough calcium for proper cell wall development. When that happens, you'll end up with a flat, black, dry spot, usually on the blossom end of the tomato. This can be controlled by providing the plants with an even amount of water. Uh, mulch can help because it'll help to even out the soil moisture. And avoid the excess use of nitrogen fertilizers uh, because they can promote foliage growth at the expense of fruit growth. There are some pollination problems that we also see in the vegetable garden. One is called cat facing. Cat facing occurs when uh, the flowers are developing during cool temperatures, uh, daytime temperatures in the 60s, nighttime temperatures in the 50s, and it causes a deformity at the blossom end of the fruit. Cat facing can be controlled by protecting the plants during the cool part of spring with row covers or a wall of water or hot cap to protect those flowers when they're developing. You can also see cat facing developing later in the season when night temperatures start to cool off toward the end of fall. Another pollination problem that we see with tomatoes is called a zipper scar. And a zipper scar occurs when an anther from the flower attaches to the developing tomato in the early stages. And what results is a, a vertical scar that runs from the top of the tomato toward the blossom end with small transverse scars that look like a, a zipper. Um, this can lower the quality of tomatoes if you're growing them for a farmer's market, but usually doesn't affect the eating quality for a home garden. Sun scald is another problem that we see on tomatoes, um, usually caused by uh, foliage diseases which, which kill off the leaf cover or by a storm which possibly uh, blows the leaves away from the developing fruits. This sun scald is usually caused by a lack of foliage cover from the fruits which can result uh, from leaves being killed off by diseases or by storms that blow the foliage away from the developing fruits. Try to make sure that you don't over prune your tomatoes and ensure that the plants have good foliage cover as the fruits develop. Fruit cracking and fruit rusting are also common problems found in the tomato garden. Fruit cracking occurs usually when the tomatoes are reaching a mature stage and the skin of the tomato becomes less flexible. It's caused by a heavy uh, application of water either through rain or irrigation that causes the fruits to expand beyond where the skin can um, ac accommodate, so the skin just cracks. Fruit cracking can occur either in a concentric fashion around the top of the tomato or radially down from the stem end toward the blossom end. Fruit cracking does decrease the quality of the fruits, but, but usually um, they can still be used and eaten. Fruit russeting is a series of very tiny cracks along the shoulders of the tomatoes which occurs when an, uh, water sits on the shoulders of the tomatoes for uh, an extended length of time. This can occur either from irrigation or rain or just a very heavy dew for several days in a row. Moisture is lost through these tiny cracks uh, in the rusting of the fruit and the fruits can lose moisture quickly and it can also affect the quality of your tomatoes.